Hello, welcome back to another video. In the last video, I went ahead and showed you guys how we broke this diff clean in half with this Miata at the drag strip. But today, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this differential and reinforce it so it doesn't happen again. This is actually a really common issue for high power Miatas. I explained this more in the last video, but Mazda put a notch in the diff housing, so if the diff ever got under too much stress, say in an accident, it would snap instead of damaging the chassis. The problem is that when you're making 380 wheel horsepower and you try to launch your car at the drag strip, it creates a lot of stress, enough stress to snap the diff. Let's go ahead and talk about the options we have for fixing this differential. The cheapest and easiest option, especially if you know how to weld, is to just weld the differential back together and then plate the entire arm on both sides and reinforce the thing so it shouldn't hopefully break again. That will literally cost you 20 bucks of metal and a little bit of time welding. Now, another really good option for those of you who don't know how to weld is to buy a RX-7 differential housing. See, the differential from the NAFC RX-7 has the exact same housing. Same bolting holes, same bolt pattern for the actual diff. It will bolt straight up to this Miata diff. And the housing on that is much stronger. It's thicker, it's more plated, it's, it's just a much stronger housing. So if you can find one of those housings, then you can just bolt it straight onto this diff and bolt it into your car. Problem is that those housings are pretty hard to buy, so you're most likely gonna have to buy the entire differential and then steal the housing off the RX-7 differential. And that usually will cost you three, 400 bucks, which is a lot more expensive than 20 bucks and some welding. So I'm gonna do the cheap and easy option of welding it back together and reinforcing it and show you guys how to do it. I'm going to get started by removing the bushings from the differential because we don't want those to melt when we start welding it. And then I have to clean off all the paint around where we're gonna weld it. So with that, the housing has been welded back together and it does fit. I made sure to check this numerous times while making it because uh, that would have stunk to weld it back in a way that doesn't fit, but it does uh, fit and it fits perfectly actually. Welding that was really tricky because it's you know more than a quarter inch thick aluminum. So it takes a lot of heat and I didn't want to get the bushing hot. So I had to weld a little bit Spray it with water, let it cool down. Then well a little bit, spray it with water, let it cool down. I tried everything to get these bushings out. I, just, I couldn't, so. But it looks like it should be pretty strong, I hope. We're gonna make it stronger by reinforcing it. So all we're gonna do is cut out a thick plate that goes across this entire section and weld it all along the arm. So it just gives the arm more structure. And you know, you might be asking yourself, where do you get metal for a project like this? Because thick aluminum is hard to find at like a common store. So let me tell you about Metal Supermarkets, because that is where I got this metal. Metal Supermarkets is a convenience store for metal. There's a couple of really, really awesome things that make them 
one of the best places to buy metal. Firstly is their selection. Metal Supermarkets carries any metal you can think of in terms of material and size. They've got hot, cold rolled steel, they've got aluminum, stainless steel, they've got round tube, square tube, flat, sheet, perforated metals, angle bar, I-beam, channels, they have everything. And if they don't have what you're looking for, they will source it for you. Now, thankfully, there are over 90 stores across the country, so there's most likely one near you. One of the awesome things that makes them awesome for small projects like this is that they have no minimum requirement and they cut the metal to size. If you wanna buy an inch of steel, you can technically buy an inch of steel. Another great thing about metal supermarkets is that they have insane turnaround times. I called, I ordered this metal at noon, and I picked it up at two o'clock. A lot of other stores, you have to wait days, if not weeks. I use metal supermarkets to get metal for all of my projects, so if you guys need metal for reinforcing your diff or anything else, look on Google Maps, see if there's a store around you, and go get some metal. Huge thank you to Metal Supermarkets for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and reinforce this differential. housing is reinforced. It's significantly beefier just from feeling it and carrying it around. It's heavier, feels stronger. So hopefully this will hold. There are a few spots where you could add more plates, but I just didn't because um, I didn't think it was necessary. Either way, we have to put the diff back together and then we can put it in the car and do some launches and see, see how she holds up. Of course, we won't really know until we take it to the drag strip and race John because there's not enough grip out here. be testing launching today <laughs> and although that's unfortunate like I said it wouldn't have really told us anything because there's no way I was gonna get enough traction on the street to see if the diff was gonna break or not <laughs> well the shifter has moved so the diff at least isn't broken it was very surprising at how normal the car drove with a diff that was snapped in half we're gonna find out next week if it's gonna break and we're gonna find out if my car is faster than John's Turbo Civic. If it does break, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the FC housing, reinforce that, and then do some stiffer suspension mounts. A lot of the reason why it breaks is not just because of power, but because of wheel hop. And even though I've got solid diff mounts, the suspension is still all stock, stock bushings. So that allows the wheels to wheel hop pretty badly and thus break the diff. So if this diff can't handle the wheel hop, then doing solid suspension bushings and reducing the wheel hop dramatically should help. But ladies and gents, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully learned 
how you can reinforce your Miata diff for 20 bucks. If you did enjoy, please give it a like, share the video, subscribe. If you want to check out the video reveal of the new project car, it's live now on Patreon. It will be coming to you guys soon, but you can see it now on Patreon. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out. Goodbye.